Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this series of videos, we are going to see about the topic of indexing structures for files. So before going into the actual types of indexes and how they are used for database access, first of all, in this video, we are going to learn why do we need index and what is the use of an index file in accessing the data which is there in the database. Okay. So first thing is we know that data is organized in the database in the form of tables or relations. Okay. Data is organized in the database in the form of tables or relations and in a relational database model, a table is a collection of data elements which is organized in terms of rows and columns. And a single entry in the table is called as a tuple or a record or a row. Tuple or a record or a row. A single entry in the table is called as a tuple or a record or a row. And a tuple is nothing but it represents a set of related data. Okay, so if you take each record it can be broken down into several smaller parts of data which is also called as attributes. Okay, in short uh, the different columns which, which is there in your uh, table is called as attributes. So let's say as an example you have a student table here. Suppose we have this student table for storing information about students. It contains three columns namely name, department and section. So name, department and section are called as the attributes of this student table. Okay, so, so let's say this name attribute requires 50 bytes and this department attribute requires 10 bytes and this section attribute requires 4 bytes. Okay, then uh, you can see that each record in the table will take 64 bytes that is 50 plus 10 plus 4 so each record record is nothing but each row of the table which contains related data is called as a record so for storing one record of this table it will require 64 bytes 64 bytes are needed for storing one record of the table and accordingly the student table has three tuples or three records or three rows Okay, now this DBMS database management system is going to store the database information in the hard disks. Okay, DBMS stores the database information in the hard disks. Why it cannot reside in the RAM or in the main memory is because the for a variety of reasons like the main memory is a volatile memory. As soon as we switch off the computer, all the data which is stored in the RAM will get lost. And it's also costly. If you have to store the entire database in the main memory or the RAM, it's going to be very costly according to the size. So data has to be, the data of the database has to be in the RAM for the DBMS to operate on it. Okay, you're going to store the D database information in the hard disk. But if the DBMS has to operate on the data, it has to be on the RAM, which is the primary memory. Note that hard disk is your secondary memory and RAM is your primary memory. So that means for every read operation, the database management system has to transfer the data from the disk to the main memory. And for every write operation, the DBMS has to transfer the data from the RAM to the disk. So since both are high cost operations, you need to plan to execute them carefully. Now, talking about how data is organized in the hard disk. How data is organized in the organized and accessed in the hard disk. Okay, so data is always stored and referenced in terms of blocks in the hard disk. It is always stored in disk blocks in the hard disk and it is also referenced in terms of disk blocks in the hard disk. What is the size of this disk block? Size of this disk block depends on the manufacturer but the physical disk block size is usually 512 bytes. Okay, which is nothing but the size of the smallest block which the disk controller can read or write. So assume that for this student, assume that uh, the block size in our hard disk is 512 bytes. So for our student table example, every record is going to take 64 bytes. 
so every disk block capacity is 512 bytes so every block can contain how many records 512 divided by 64 each block can store eight records so let's say in my in my database i have 120 records in my database then how many disk blocks will i need to store all these records i will need 120 divided by 8 that is 15 disk blocks will be required to store all the data of my database so if i have to access any record in my table what uh, uh, my table is going to reside on the hard disk so i have to scan through all these 15 disk blocks to find the required record so if the dbms follows this procedure of linear search the access time is going to be very slower so we are just trying to make this access or the search faster by creating an index for this table okay all this uh, uh, table records are going to reside on the disk block so if we create an index for this table which resides on the disk then our search is going to be faster so when the cpu executes queries the database systems must provide capabilities for efficiently executing the queries so database is typically stored on the hard disk so the dbms must provide specialized in data structures and search techniques to speed up this search for the desired records in the hard disk and that specialized data structure is your index structures or index okay if i say index structures or index both are same so it is nothing but a specialized data structure which just speeds up the searching of the desired records in the hard disk so index now let's see what is the meaning of this index structures or index index structures are nothing but they are just additional auxiliary files additional auxiliary files which reside on the hard disk to speed up the retrieval of records in response to certain search conditions okay when you are trying to retrieve records based on some search conditions then that uh, that is fast and or you are speeding up that process with the help of this index structures when i say index just imagine the index of a book uh, you you will just look for some keywords in the index for a book and that key that index will give you the page number where that particular keyword is present same concept is applied here also so another thing is this indexes provide secondary access paths indexes provide secondary access paths to access the record what does it mean that means secondary access path means it is not going to affect the physical placement of records in the primary data file on the disk the actual records are going to reside in the same place on the data file on the disk that is not going to be affected it it is just index is just going to help you to access those records on the disk now how am i going to construct this index file is so index file index file is a small file which resides on the disk and it contains two fields one is the indexing field and the other one is the pointer okay you have two fields in the index file one is the indexing field this indexing field is an attribute which is used to search for the records in the data file so from where will i get this indexing field any field present in your relation of the database now you are going to have this i told you table is also called as relation you can take any field i can have name as my indexing field i can have department as my indexing field or i can have section as my indexing field i can take any field of a relation or i can also take a subset of the fields of a relation i can take name plus department as my indexing field also so any i can take any field of the relation that can be used as the indexing field of your index file so the attribute uh, indexing field is used to search for records in the data file and what is the next field second field is a pointer which points to the disk block containing the record with that index field value okay this pointer is going to point to the actual disk block in the hard disk which is going to contain the records with that indexing field value okay so this uh, index file is of two types dense index and sparse index dense and sparse index so you may have a doubt i am going to store all the records in the disk blocks in the uh, index file or not both are possible if i store all the records in the disk blocks in the hard disk 
if all that record uh, indexing fields are stored in the index file also then it is called as dense index if i um, if i am going to store only a subset of the search key values that is not all the records i am going to store or store only some of the records of the disk blocks in the hard disk in my index file then it is called as sparse index okay so in short if i have 50 records in my uh, hard disk if i'm still going to store uh, all the 50 record uh, information index uh, 50 records indexing field in my index file also it's called dense index instead of 50 i'm going to store some 15 or 10 then uh, then it is an example for sparse index so i have told you how to construct the index file then how to search for records in the database based on this index file so to find the particular record in the data file based on a search condition what i will be doing is i'll be searching the indexing field for that record in the index file whenever there is a match the second field will contain pointers to one or more disk blocks in the data file where the required records are located okay let's say for example i have a particular uh, query like select select department from student where where first name is equal to adam so if i have a query like this and if i don't have an index file based on first name then i have to search all the disk blocks for the required record whose first name is equal to adam otherwise dbms will just get the address of the record whose first name is equal to adam from the index file itself because uh, so it will just check the index file where the first name is equal to adam in the indexing field and the next field is going to contain the pointer which will point to the address of the disk block containing the record whose first name is equal to Adam. Okay. I hope now you understand the difference between having an index file and not having an index file. If you don't have an index file, then you have to search all the records in the, uh, in your uh, data file and the hard disk. If you have an index file, then just check in the index file, uh, the address of the record whose first name is equal to Adam and then just access it. Okay. So you have three main types of indexes. Okay. Uh, one is indexes based on ordered files. Which is called as single level indexes. Single level ordered indexes. Okay, the other one is indexes based on tree data structures. Here you will have multi-level indexes and B plus trees, etc. And the third one is indexes based on hashing and other search data structures. Okay, indexes based on hashing and other search data structures. Okay, we'll see about each of them in detail in the next video. Thank you.